Hello, uh, it's your girl Tiffany, Madam Luscious Black Beauty, your poetic psychic Pisces, Pike Priestess, aka the light that shines like eight diamonds, also known as your modern day nun, one whom isn't within a coven, a convent, or a covenant. I do thank you all for listening and for watching on today. If you would be so kind to like, share, and subscribe, it would be greatly, greatly appreciated. This is going to be a general reading for the overall collective of any zodiac signs. So please take the messages that apply. Leave the ones that do not. And without any further ado, we are going to get into today's messages. Also remember guys, these messages can apply to your past, your present, or your future. So please take the messages that apply. Leave the ones that do not. Okay. So we have the Eight of Wands with the Eight of Coins. Somebody could definitely be getting some type of fast communication, um, messages, news, or information pertaining to a job, okay? This is going to be a hope, wish, or dream come true for you, okay? This is something that you've been praying for, that you've manifested, that you uh, have been hoping for, wishing for, okay? And it's coming true for you, okay? You're definitely getting good. There's going to be balance in this situation. You're getting justice in a situation, okay? This job could have something to do with the judicial system. Um, maybe you're striving to be a lawyer or a paralegal or a judge or something to do with justice. Maybe even law enforcement in some type of way, okay? But somebody's getting some type of fast communication that's going to come in pertaining to um, a job, okay? Because we have two eights here. We got the eight of ones and the eight of coins. Now, the eight of coins talks about the finances, money, and resources one makes from the work that they do, okay? Um, which sits right next to the nine of cups, okay? So this information that you're getting in about this job, it is going to definitely... Um, be a dream come true for you, okay? Then we have the Justice card and the Six of Cups, okay? So, um, this could be a job that you did in the past or some type of work that you did in the past, okay? Maybe you did some type of work for uh, the justice system, for law enforcement in some type of way, and somebody's going to contact you, okay? Okay? Um, with some type of um, compensation for some type of work that you did, or this can actually be a job, you know, in a certain field of, um, in a certain position, in a certain field, okay? But there, it's, it's either way. Somebody's contacting you, okay? Um, pertaining to a job that's going to be a hope, wish, or dream come true, or somebody is contacting you um, about, wanting to about some some money okay but it's pertaining to a job that you did for the justice system the legal system uh the the police work you know the legal system on any level here okay for very few people somebody um could be running um in the current elections to be um like um for um an attorney or a judge or something like that okay um, you're going to get the clarification that you're going to get that position here, okay? But for everyone else, you're definitely getting some type of fast communication in and some type of payment for some type of work that you did um, pertaining to the justice system here, okay? This is going to definitely give you the motivation and determination that you need, okay, to move forward, okay? Yeah, there's a decision that was, um, somebody has clear vision and made a decision, okay, to contact you pertaining to this here, okay, so you're definitely going to get um, some type of communication, it looks like from a king of pentacles here, okay, this could be a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, this is the person who is going to contact you about um, either a job. Or some type of payment for some type of work that you did okay this is definitely going to bring a lot of eights coming out here guys this is definitely going to bring change okay a major shift or change um, 
to your life, okay? Yeah, this is, yeah. You could be a water sign, okay? Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio who is having a hope, wish, or dream come true. There definitely was a judgment or a decision that was made um, in a, either in a court of law or pertaining to something legal. Um, I feel like you did some type of work for law enforcement or something, okay? Yeah, you provided, in the past, you provided some type of truth or clarity pertaining to something. You, you helped out um, law enforcement in some type of way here. Okay, and um, this is some type of work that you did in the past. Okay, and somebody is just now contacting you pertaining to this. Okay, but this is still a blessing, none of the nonetheless. Okay, but um, you're going to be receiving some type of fast communication that's coming in from an earth sign individual, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo persons. Okay. Okay, Spirit, so let's get some further clarification for this reading. Spirit, so let's clarify. Okay, yeah, this is a, we have the main male here, okay? So this is definitely could be the individual that is contacting you, sending you some type of, this could be this, um, this King of Pentacles here, okay? We have sudden wealth here. So somebody wants to contact you about some type of sudden wealth here. This is definitely going to be a hope, wish, or dream come true for you, okay? Yeah, we have here privileged lady. So you're definitely could be a privileged lady who is receiving this, okay? You're receiving these messages, okay, that's coming into you. Pertaining to this. Yeah, we have toll and labor. You worked hard on something. You did some type of work. And you worked hard on it, okay? And I feel like you helped. You were able to help out either the government or law enforcement or something pertaining to, uh, to something that you were working on, okay? This is definitely going to bring about some type of major shift, major change for you, okay? This is going to be a hope, wish, or dream come true for you as well. There could be a lot of people who have been discussing this in conversation about this. Sure, please give us further clarification for this reading. Yeah, they pop right back out the card that was at the bottom of the deck. So this main male here, this whoever this King of Pentacles is, this Capricorn Taurus or Virgo individual, they've been in conversation with others, maybe that they work with, uh, pertaining to this, okay? About you, about this money here, okay? And they finally decided that they want to contact you. They want to offer you something. Maybe you worked on something and there was some type of maybe a reward that was offered for any type of assistance or help or something. And um, you know how I'd always say, um, like when it's something like that, you know, um, and there's some type of reward. It tells you, oh, you can call such and such number. I don't think you call. I don't think you try to claim any reward or whatever. You just did something. You Whatever work you did, you just did it to help um, in some way, uh, shape, form, or fashion here. But somehow these individuals maybe got hold of your work or what you, whatever you did to help or assist pertaining to this here, okay? Um, for those of you who did some type of work here and this person is contacting you about your work and wanting to give you some type of um, funding for the work that you did, the help that you offered to them, okay? For those, uh, uh, for others of you that's getting this communication, this uh, could be about a job, a, a, a wish, um, which is going to be a wish come true for you, okay? This is your, you know, your dream job, okay? That you're getting some type of contact about, okay? And it could have something to do with um, with the judicial system or law enforcement or government in some type of way, okay? So just take the messages that apply. This is going to be different for everyone, okay? We have waiting here, okay? 
So um, here you are. This sits under the privileged lady, okay? You could have been waiting for something. I feel like you've been, you've continued working, but it's like you've been waiting for something, okay? Hold on just a minute, guys. We had a few cards that fell. Okay, guys. Those are just some extra cards that fell. I had already had the next card. But it, uh, you um, are a privileged lady. You've been waiting for some. I feel like you you haven't been stuck or stagnant, really. I think you have kept, you've continued working, okay? But this sits here with, um, right next to the Nine of Cups with this uh, water sign here. Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio here. And you're a privileged lady, and it's like you've, you've been working and you continue to work, yet it's like you have been waiting for some type of shift or change or something different in life, okay? It's more so what I feel like you've been waiting for in some type of way, okay? Um, or just if, if for somebody else, you could have been waiting to hear back pertaining to a job or waiting to, you know, um, hear back from someone, okay? We have thought here though, okay? Somebody has definitely had you on their mind. They have been um, and deep thought about you, about messaging you, okay, pertaining to this, okay? Somebody could send you a letter in the mail, okay, um, with this communication, okay? And it's going to be pertaining to your hard work, okay? It's going to be pertaining to uh, some type of change here, okay? These individuals... Um, I keep coming back to somebody did some work in the past because the Six of Cups talks about one reflecting on um, on the past, okay? And this sits here with thought and message. So this person who has been thinking about contacting you, thinking about messaging you, this person has been reflecting back on something that you you did in the past, okay? something Some type of work that you did in the past where you brought truth and clarity, pertaining to something, okay? And I feel like it helped um, with justice and a judgment being made or something pertaining to something here, okay? I keep coming back to that. But for those of you who that does not apply to, this is definitely pertaining to um, somebody contacting you about a job, okay? For somebody else, even with some work that you did in the past, okay? I, Sudden wealth, we got sudden wealth and money here, okay? So you're going to get some type of communication about this. Like, you know, you did this work in the past. Hey, we want to give you this type of compensation or something like that or whatever. But you, somebody may offer you a job to do the whatever work that you did before again for them in some type of way, okay? As well. That's the reason why I'm probably picking up both. Because I definitely keep getting the energy of job, work that was done, okay? Yeah, this is pertaining to um, your career here, okay? What's going on here is definitely pertaining to your career, your occupation, your work here. This is definitely um, going to bring about sunshine in your life. A, a, um, a new life, a fresh start, joy, happiness, fulfillment, new beginnings even, okay? Okay, Spirit, let's give us further clarification here. Yeah, we have here, a table will be prepared before you in the presence of your enemies here, okay? So I definitely feel like that there is something, some, some good, yeah, and then we have here, you will be very successful, okay? So whatever you do, you do, you are good at whatever it is that you do, whatever type of work that you do, other people have noticed, okay? Um, other people may be even interested in the work that you do and hiring you in some type of way, okay? And I really feel like um, the most I got had a hand in in and um, bringing this to you here, okay? Um, your spirit guides helped you, the almighty divine, okay? Your angels, okay? This is bringing you some type of glory, okay? 
And we have here support at the bottom of the deck, okay? Help, guidance, assistance. You're going to get the support that you need, the help that you need, okay? I've seen it, spirit, okay? You're definitely going to have stability, okay? As it relates to your career, You could have been feeling a little insecure, okay, for a while. But you're definitely going to have happiness, okay? Fun, excitement, joy. You're going to be glad. You're going to have blessings. You're going to have laughter and peace again, okay? Happiness is definitely coming into your life, okay? Yeah, somebody is getting some type of promotion here. You're definitely getting some type of promotion or um, advancement of some kind. Which is great because everybody wants that, you know, to have that stability and security in life here. Okay, we have Rosie here. This is you feeling good, okay? You're just peachy, okay? Um... It also can speak to beautiful gardens, okay? A scent, um, your senses also being on high, okay? Lovely smells even, okay? This is under, um, you'll be very successful, okay? Somebody may have an award winning for very few persons, okay? Very few persons. Somebody have an, an award winning um, garden, like some type of beautiful garden okay because this is right up under you would be very successful okay but for for others of you this rosy card is meaning you know uh, one feeling rosy okay feeling good um about oneself here okay spirit wants you to listen to your intuition as it relates to this okay i feel like your intuition you listening to your intuition um definitely help you i feel like with whatever work it is that you do okay but be very careful here okay because at the bottom of the deck we have your family is using you for money okay so um you want to get the leeches from around you you definitely want to cut off that in which no longer you know serves you or has your highest good or your best interest at heart okay you want to loose release and let go of people, places, and things that is just not good for your health, for your well-being, for your mental stability, for, you know, just in your life in general, okay? And sometimes that means cutting off loved ones, okay? Sometimes that means cutting off individuals closest to you, okay? Because people are, spirit is saying, people are jealous of you, envious of you, and intimidated by you, okay? Um... But you just need to be aware of that, okay? So let me get... See if we have any other messages here for you all. Okay, Spirit. What other messages? So we have a money windfall here, okay? This sits on uh, career instability, okay? You're definitely coming into some type of finances, money, or resources, okay? Yeah. You were, you will have the safety and security that you need that sits here with sunshine and happiness, okay? Be very careful of fake family trying to come back around, okay? Um, somebody is going to have um, received some type of pay raise, okay? If you normally... Are, are used to having, you know, um, making a certain amount of money, you're definitely leveling up, okay? You will have balance in your life, okay? This sits here in between. You will be very successful in rosy, okay? Yeah, we have here, I just seen it. We have here angels, okay? I told you. Your angels definitely help you, okay? That sits here in between... Um, the most high God and listen to your intuition. Okay. You're definitely, somebody is in their princess power, no doubt. Okay. Somebody is in their princess power. Okay. I feel like you, um, for somebody, you allowed your faith 
to guide you. You continue working, okay? You continued working even when you didn't make a dime, okay? And I feel like doing so, you made a difference in some type of way. And others notice, so that's beautiful energy here, okay? Let's get you all a few more oracle messages. And then we're going to wrap this reading up. Spirit, are there any other messages I need to share with the collective? That was more than one card here. You may meet your soulmate soon. Yeah, we have here, um, we have here blessed. This is the card that flipped over here, okay? So you're definitely blessed, going to be blessed in a situation here, okay? It's definitely going to bring about some type of change in your life. We got milk and honey here at the bottom of the deck here, okay? Very clear skies. You see the rainbow here? I feel like you're going to have um, everything that you need, okay, to succeed, to move forward. <clears throat> Okay, Spirit, one more Oracle message, please. So we have the dove here, okay? Spirit is saying take a leap of faith, okay? You're like this beautiful white dove here in Spirit. Um, Spirit is telling you to take a leap of faith with this message, okay? And we have knowledge at the bottom of the deck here. So you definitely could be someone who is very knowledgeable in some type of way. And look here, guys. Okay. I don't know. Purple could be a favorite color of yours here. But there's a lot of cards here in the main spread here that has purple in it. Okay. But these two cards both have purple in it. Okay. And both of these decks here come in multiple different colors here. So I feel like it's no coincidence that... These colors came out here, blessed and dove here, okay? You're blessed and spirit wants you to take a leap of faith, okay? Because you're protected. Your angels are watching over you, okay? Trust, if I seen something different, child, I would tell you, okay? You can believe that. Yeah, somebody is a psychic, an empath, okay? You're an empress, you're intuitive. You could even be a tarot reader, okay? Um, you're a healer. You're high priestess, you're a light worker, you're a spiritualist, okay? And I feel like you did some type of work in this field of study here, and you were able to help out either the government or law enforcement or um, the feds or just government in general, okay? This could be pertaining to um, like a, a cold case or something that they were working on here. Spirit is saying that you are a star here, okay? You shine bright like the superstar that you are. Your hopes, wishes, dreams, desires, and manifestations are going to come true here, okay? You're radiant. You're beautiful. You're an artist. You have talent, skill, and ability. You're very creative. You're, um, people notice your loyalty, okay? And how open and honest you are, okay? And you are going to be fruitful and abundant here. I definitely feel like that you can be a mother here, but you're and you're very supportive and nurturing, okay? You're the loving mother that's creative and beautiful. You're a free spirit. You have um, a, you're open minded, okay? You're a free thinker. You're caring. Um, you're outgoing and fun here. You're hardworking too, okay? And you're definitely a good listener, okay? which I feel like is paying off for you in a major way here. So we have um, water sign energy, which we had that card to come out here. You could be a Pisces. This speaks to new life, loving, caring, giving, mermaid energy here, sensitive, um, fishy water sign here, okay? But you're a mutable sign, okay? You go with the flow of the waves here, okay? You listen to your intuition. I feel like you're guided by spirit. And I definitely feel like spirit is stepping in for you um, to, to um, bless you with this, okay? If we have here at the bottom of the deck, okay, we have the vlog here, the like here, okay? So you definitely could have some type of social media platform. You could be on Facebook, YouTube. Um, you could be a blogger on any site, any social media site. You could be on Instagram. You're, you're a content creator nonetheless, okay? You may have a popular platform, okay? But if your platform is not that popular now, 
Um, Spirit is suggesting that it will be, okay? Which is awesome for you guys, okay? So, <laughs> we have here, Spirit is saying you are talented and fucking amazing, okay? The world needs your power. Use your voice. Just don't use it for dumb shit, okay? Spirit is saying that you are talented and fucking amazing. And I'm not just cursing just to be cursing, just to be in foul mouth. These cards are blunt and direct like that. It's literally what it says, <laughs> okay? So, Spirit wants you to know that, okay? Let's see if there's any other messages for you. Okay. Spirit is saying that you're the shit. Whoever you are, Spirit is saying that you're the shit. Okay. And don't forget it. Which is awesome. Okay. You, uh, you're the type of person who do you. Okay. You don't really try to, you don't, you don't fit in with other people. Okay. You're definitely winning in this situation here. Okay. Which is um, extremely awesome. You're definitely um you're you're winning in this situation okay so remember to give thanks remember to be grateful remember um with anything you have whether little or small be grateful for it and also remember to give back never forget where you come from okay because everybody before people succeed and make it and you know blow up or on whatever type of level no matter what type of profession that you in we all basically come from nothing okay and people who have to you know work their way up in various different ways okay so never forget um those less fortunate than you okay never forget to give back okay you are a bit of a rebel but i feel like this is the, because of this um it it it, it, it helps you do whatever work you do okay being a bit of a rep a rebel maybe saying things and doing things that nobody else has the the nerve or the audacity to do okay it's weird to see fuck shit is about to get real okay spirit are there any other messages Always remember to give give back though, okay? And don't be looking for something in return um, as soon as you give back or you give something and you expect to have something right then and there coming to you because what happens is is when you give back, when you give unto others and different things whether other people give unto you or not, but when you are a blessing to others, these this is like you planting seeds, okay? And, and the more you give and the more you do, you're watering every seed that you planted before and you're planting even more seeds, okay? And, and those seeds turns into crops, okay? That continue to grow and grow and grow. And these this is how blessings continue to flow in for you when you least expect it, okay? When a blessing comes in for you um right now nine times out of ten is not for something that you did yesterday okay or for something that you did uh, today it could be for a seed that you planted um something that you how you bless someone else could be five ten fifteen years ago okay and this blessing is coming through for you now okay That's why it's always a good, it's always good to give back. You never know, um, especially the less fortunate, okay? Because anybody can be in that situation at any given time, okay? And you really never know when you're running into an earth angel. There's a lot of people who are on the street right now who may look filthy, who may look dirty, who may, you know, have raggly clothes, raggly shoes, and they were here, they were put here in this lifetime to look like that, and you may not know that they're an angel. Okay, so you never know who you're talking to. You never know who you're dealing with. Okay, spirit is saying we have here at the bottom of the deck. You are loved. Okay, so if nobody tells you that they love you, spirit wants you to know that you are in fact loved. Okay, and you're winning and you're the shit. Okay, and you're talented and you're fucking amazing. Okay. Okay, guys. Well, I think that is all the messages for this reading. <clears throat> I 
I don't think I need to pull any more cards, okay? Because this um, reading has been so good for you all, okay? Continue to work hard, okay? Continue to do great things, okay? And all will be well here, guys, okay? I'm just checking this deck here really quick, guys. I'm going to see if, um, if Spirit wants me to give you any other messages. So we have here, God is doing a new thing, okay? So the Most High is doing a new thing in your life here, okay? This new thing may surprise you, okay? You could be someone who never had real love is what I'm feeling, okay? You could have hidden enemies, hidden a uh, haters and different things like that. I feel like um, abundance is coming into you and you're going to be able to get you a brand new car, okay? You maybe have never had a brand new car, okay? But you're definitely going to have that, okay? That could have been shysty individuals um, behind the scenes who tried to block or stop you from being able to succeed in life, okay? But you continue to work. You continue to move forward. And I feel like for someone that this, it's paying off in some type of way, okay? Spirit is telling you don't worry about the people that left you hanging and turned their back on you, okay? Continue to move forward, okay? We also have here, as long as I know how to love, I know I'll stay alive, okay? So I definitely feel like you are a person who have um, a lot of love to give, okay? You could be a prophet. You could be a visionary of some kind. We have here, a prophet is not welcome in their own home, in his or her own home here, okay? So you definitely could be a prophet. You could be a visionary. You're a bit of a rebel, okay? Um. Spirit wants you to be careful who you trust as well. I'm just seeing that, okay? But I feel like you bring truth and clarity, okay, to situations here, okay? Very careful who you trust, though, okay? Very careful with contracts. I see contracts as well. Make sure you read them carefully. Make sure you have um, legal representation to look over um, contracts for you. Explain things you may not quite understand, or whatever okay contracts may be involved in some type of way okay okay spirit are there any other messages I need to share with the collective so yeah like I was saying people may be you know may hate on you yeah you're a revolutionary People may hate on you in your hometown because you're a prophet, okay? And prophets are never welcome in their own home, okay? But it, it, it's amazing because you could go to a whole nother state with the work you do or whatever, or whatever, and people may love you. It's just like art. It doesn't matter what type of artist you are. You can be a painter. You can be a singer. You can be a rapper. And you may not hardly get any support in in your hometown, okay? Where Which is where people try to grow, you know, um... I mean, it's quite natural. When somebody has a talent, skill, or ability, the first people you show um, are your family, okay? And then you branch off from your family and you might participate in some type of community talent show or, you know, something like that. You are now displaying your artistry to the community. Or, you know, if you're some type of starving artist that's, you know, you draw, you paint, you, you know, you're a mime, whatever artistic abilities you have you may go in your downtown area where it's the busiest parts and it's a lot of traffic and put on your artistic display and people donate to you and different things like that or whatever but a lot of times you don't get the love the support that chance that big break in your hometown and it's really unfortunate it's really unfortunate because some people are comfortable 
with where they live, okay? Um, some people, you know, it's quite scary picking up and going to an unfamiliar place where you know nothing, you know nobody, okay? And starting from scratch, starting all over again and things like that or whatever. But a lot of times that's what it takes to get your big brick, okay? Because you'll get the most shade, the most... You can have people halfway across the world who are completely in love with you and people in your hometown who will hate on you. Just because you may have a talent or a skill that they don't have, okay? And instead of them doing something that they are talented and skilled at and becoming great, they spend their energy, their time hating on you, belittling you, putting you down, trying to keep you from coming up, trying to keep you from succeeding when this world is big enough for you to succeed, them to succeed, and anybody else who wants to succeed to succeed, okay? But... It's just the world we live in here, okay? You're definitely someone who is a light worker here. We have I am a light worker, so you're a prophet. You're a light worker, okay? You're a revolutionary, okay? Um, some people feel like you are a mystery here, okay? But I just feel like, you know, there's nothing wrong with, with you being different, okay? You're set apart, okay? If you're anything like myself... Um, I don't want to do what everybody else is doing because that's what's popular to be done, okay? Um, I want to do my own thing in my own way, have my own look, my, my, my own, be my own person, use my own mind, have my own look, my own style, my own way of doing things, just being yourself, okay? A lot of people spend a lot of time trying to fit in in certain cliques and certain groups and certain um, clubs and certain societies amongst certain people and you would be a lot happier embracing yourself loving yourself being yourself okay and so that's what i put effort into and if you don't like it then that's a personal problem it's really not my business to worry about whether you like me or not or you like you know this that or other or not not being cocky or arrogant or anything but it's a personal problem you understand what i'm saying and in this world if 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 we are have the supposed freedoms that we are claimed to have it's perfectly okay you have the right to dislike me if you want to okay you don't have the right to attack someone you don't have the right to physically harm someone you don't have the right to take another person's life you don't have the right to um, you know, hurt somebody in some type of way, but you perfectly have the right to dislike me if you want to. And just as much as I have the right to not to want to deal with you, not to want to be around you, not to care for you, you have that right. Everybody has the right to their own feelings, their own thoughts, their own emotions, okay? Everything. You have that right, okay? What you do not have the right to do is to hurt or harm somebody else just because of how you personally feel about them. So technically, it is a personal problem when you feel uh, some type of way about somebody. You know what I'm saying? And, and really and truly, you should check yourself. If you are upset because somebody is a prophet, somebody is a revolutionary, somebody is a light worker or a healer, or somebody has a certain talent, skill, or ability, whether you have that same talent, skill, or ability or not, like who the hell are you to make this person feel some type of way just because of how you personally feel about them, okay? It doesn't even make sense to me, okay? But your needs are going to be met. Spirit wants you to know that your needs are going to be met. And this is exactly the reason why that you don't need to worry about the people that left you hanging and turned their back on you. Okay, because the same people that left you hanging and turned their back on you, if you became a millionaire today, the same people will be in your face begging, trying to be on your team, trying to get a job from you, trying to be on your security team, trying to be on your, you know, any damn thing. Just to be in your circle. Okay, just to be on your payroll so they can, you know, go where you're going. Okay, the same people that hated on you, okay? Spirit also wants you to know that guardian angels are watching over you night and day. Okay, I told you. When I seen that Most High God card came out, I knew that the Most High had a hand in, in doing this for you here. You even see it here on the Ace of Swords here, okay? You see how that hand... Is coming up out of the 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 waves, the ocean there, okay? And the Ace of Swords talks about truth. It talks about clarity, okay? And um, so I I feel like um, your angels, your spirit guides, okay? Um, the Most High came together, pushed and pulled, and made some things happen. Um, for um these blessings to come in for you, okay? 
You could be someone who has been suffering and going without for a long time, okay? And um, at some point, your spirit guides, the most high said no more, okay? So you could be gaining some type of popularity, okay? Which is cool, okay? But stay humble. Don't get the big head, okay? Don't start treating people any type of way. If you gain more than them or more popular than them, stay humble, okay? Remember where you come from. Remember when you had no friends at all, when you had no money at all, when you were struggling just like the next, okay? Working just as hard as the next. Th that's the key to it all, okay? Continue to work hard and staying humble. Remember where you come from and giving back, okay? Being a blessing to others. It's the simplest things in life that is the most important, okay? Okay, guys. So we have here at the bottom of the deck, finding your happy place, okay? So I definitely feel like somebody... Um, um, it's going to find their happy place. Somebody's stepping into abundance. Somebody is getting maybe the career of a lifetime or a blessing of a lifetime. Like you've never had a blessing like this. Okay. Um, you've never, you may be the type of person who've never been acknowledged, um, particularly for anything special. Okay. Um, and that's coming through for you. That is happening for you. Okay. So this is a good message for a change. I'm glad. Um, so, guys, I thank you all for listening. I thank you all for watching. If you would be so kind to like, share, and subscribe, it will be greatly, greatly appreciated. For those of you who would like to contact me, you can do so at tiffanydickler60 at gmail.com or at tiff.diamond.36 at gmail.com. Um, if you um, would like to follow me on Instagram, you can do so at shine bright like a diamond with an underscore between each word. Um, I also just seen um, something about soulmate and soulmates keep coming out. It came out in multiple decks. Okay. Um, you may, you may be, your soulmate becoming, I don't know. You may be drawn closer to your soulmate, okay? You may meet a soulmate, okay? This this reading wasn't any, about a relationship or love or anything like that. See, as soon as I said that, the love card flipped over. Your soulmate is coming in, okay? Some type of way, okay? Three wants you to have faith in the situation that you're dealing with as well, guys, okay? Um, like I said, um... Y'all can follow me on Instagram at Shine Bright Like a Diamond. Okay. Um, if you would are interested in donating to the channel, you can do so through Cash App, which is dollar sign tiff diamond36, or through PayPal, which is paypal.me slash at 36 diamond. Okay, guys. As always, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, but most of all, take care of your babies. Remember, this is a wicked, wicked world that we live in. There is wickedness in high places, and there is evil that is lurking around each and every corner, even in a neighborhood near you. So y'all watch your surroundings. Watch the company you keep. Watch the surroundings and the company in which your um, children are in as well. And considering the fact that you never know when somebody may betray you, backstab you, try to hurt you or harm you, honey, keep you some protection on you. Y'all stay awake, stay aware, stay vigilant, and stay prepared. Because if you stay ready, you don't have to get ready. Until the next time, peace, love, and light. Namaste. I am that I am created in the image of God. Real quick, guys. Okay? This has something to do with your life purpose. Spirit is saying, discover your life purpose, okay? For many of you, I feel like you have already discovered your life purpose. You are stepping into your life purpose here, but be very careful of temptation here, okay? I kept on seeing something about love and soulmate and this and that or whatever. Um, you know, you want to be careful. You see him up here? Be careful of this temptation, okay? Because um, somebody could be trying to tempt you, could be trying to get you back in agreement with living a careless, reckless life type of style, you know, and different things like that. And you don't want to fall off when you're just getting on, okay? So um, be very careful, okay?
But somebody, I feel like this definitely has something to do with your life purpose. Somebody's already in their life purpose, okay? Especially with the fact that you're, um, you're a prophet, a light worker, a revolutionary, okay? All of those messages coming out, okay? Somebody is definitely already in their life purpose, okay? Okay, guys, let me see if there's one more message in here for you real quick before we leave. So we have garden here. It's it's a trip because we had the rosy card that came out here, okay? Somebody definitely has a garden, okay? If you don't have a garden, you always wanted a garden, you're going to, you're getting ready to have a garden. And it's going to be a very beautiful garden. But for a few of you, you already have a garden and it's like awesome. It's like beautiful, okay? You could be getting some type of praise or award or compensation or something for how beautiful your garden is. Something about a garden, okay? Um, we have here something lovely will grow from this, okay? So what for whatever is coming in for you here, Spirit is saying that something lovely is going to grow from this, okay? It has something to do with your life purpose, okay? And Spirit wants you to know that justice is coming, okay? So thank you all for listening and watching. Peace, love, and light. Namaste.